happy to see you today. It's going to be a good, good day because guess what? God made today and God is good. Who's good? God is good. That's right, friends. All right, you guys, just stand up and let's get ready to sing our song of the month together. such a great song. God is so amazing and God really loves you. Why? Because God is good. Who's good? God is good. That's right, friends. God is good. And the Bible teaches us just that. It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And that comes from Psalms 107, 1. And that's our memory verse for this month. So will you guys say it with me? And we'll do the motions together as well. It goes like this. Give thanks, clap twice. Give thanks to the Lord, point up, to the Lord for he is good. Two thumbs up, for he is good. Psalm 107, 1. Awesome job, friends. Let's say it one more time together. It goes like this. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Psalm 107, 1. Awesome job, friends. Now, I want to play a fun game together. Everyone watch me and do what I do. We must use our listening ears so we will know what to do. All right, so I will do a, mo a movement, and if I say Simon Says, you do it. But if I don't say Simon Says, don't do it. Are you guys ready? Be sure to use your listening ears. Ready? Simon says, hold your arms up super high. Hold them up super high. Awesome job. Simon said, so that means you did it. Good job. Now, I want you to clap your hands. Woo, clap your hands. I didn't say Simon says, so don't do it. Great job listening, friends. That was a lot of work on our arms. Are you guys' arms tired? Mine are. Today in our Bible story, we'll hear about someone who had to keep his arms up for a really long time. I wonder if his arms got tired too. I think our friends at the clubhouse are ready for us. So let's get ready and head to the clubhouse. Hey. 
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Oh, hi friends, I'm Zoe. Those were starting to get heavy. Do you know why I have all these donuts? Because we're having a friends and family donut day. I love donut day. The best part is that it's for everyone. Oh, that reminds me. I need to count all the donuts to make sure I have enough for everyone. My friend Hayden is bringing six people, so I'll need six donuts for them. Manny is bringing three people, so I'll need three more donuts for them. Miss Kathy Sue has a big family, so she will need nine donuts. This is gonna be a great party. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. This looks like fun. It seems you have donuts for everyone. Hi, Ollie. I sure do. We're having a friends and family donut day. Three of my favorite things. Friends, family, and donuts. Friends and family are special. It's true. Having them around is good for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, friends. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. I'm so happy to see you today. Do you want to see my latest cupcake creation? Ta da! <laughs> These are my donut cupcakes. See, each one has a little donut on top because I do not want you to forget that God is good. <laughs> In fact, today's story is about something really good that God gave us. Are you ready to hear it? If you're ready for the story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a man who was thankful for the friends and family God gave him. This man's name was Moses and his brother's name was Aaron. They were part of a special group of people called the Israelites. They loved and followed God. One day, some people who did not follow God came to attack the Israelites. Everybody say, oh no, oh no! But Moses knew that God would help them. So Moses held up God's staff. Can you pretend to be like Moses and hold your arms up high? Great job, keep them up. Moses held up God's staff and the Israelites started winning the battle. But uh-oh, look, Moses' arms are getting tired. Are your arms getting tired? You can put your arms down now. When Moses put his arms down, the Israelites started losing. Oh no! But when Moses held his arms up, arms up, the Israelites were winning again. You can put your arms down now. But Moses couldn't put his arms down. Moses had to hold his arms up for a really long time. They started to get so tired. He needed help. So his brother Aaron and his friend, her, came to help. They brought a rock over for Moses to sit on, and then they held up his arms so that God's staff would not come down. And look, the Israelites won. I'm sure Moses was very thankful God gave him friends and family like Aaron and her to help him. He wouldn't have been able to keep his arms up without them. God gives each of us friends and family too, and we can help one another. 
we can look at our friends and family and say, God is good. Say it with me. Who is good? God is good. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God gives you friends and family to help you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. It's awesome that God gives us friends and family to help us. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I wonder how I can show my friends and family that I'm thankful for them. Hmm. Oh, I know. I can make sure everyone gets their favorite donut on Friends and Family Donut Day. Bye! Wow, friends, in our Bible story today, Moses needed help. Do you remember who helped him? Yes, his brother Aaron and his friend Hur. God gives us friends and family to help us too. Everyone, I want you guys to shake out your arms. Shake them out like this. Awesome job. And I want to see how long you can hold your arms up and see if they start to hurt. Ready? We're going to count to 10. Are you ready? Put your arms up. Hold them up high. We're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, put them down. That could get really tiring for a long time, right? And today, we watched a story from the Bible where Moses needed help holding up his arms so the Israelites could win the battle. His brother Aaron and friend Hur helped Moses by holding up his arms when they were tired. Could you guys hold up your arms for much longer without somebody helping you? Probably for a little bit, but not for a long time. Your arms would probably start getting tired. All right, friends, I want you guys to stand up and let's get ready to sing together.
job singing, friends. Who gives us friends and family? God does. That's right. God gives us family and friends so we can help each other. God gives us so many good, good things because God is good. Who's good? God is good. That's right, friends. I'm so glad you guys were here today. Before you go, I would love to pray with you. Will you wiggle your hands this way and wiggle them that way? Wiggle them all around in a circle. Fold them together. Bow your heads. Close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear God, we want to thank you for all of our friends and family. Thank you for each friend here. Help us to remember to give you thanks. You are so good. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Great job today, friends. I can't wait to see you here next week, and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Bye!